Good afternoon, my beautiful soul followers. My internet cut out, so let's try this again. Let's try this again. Um, hope everyone is having an amazing Friday, is what I was saying. So this morning I was going through those beautiful Facebook memories that we all love some days and hate some other days, but I ran across a Jay Shetty video um, that I absolutely loved and I had posted quite a few years ago. It was probably three or four years ago. Uh, and it was this video of a man, uh, and I'll post it below because I posted it on my personal profile, but I'll post it below so you guys get to watch this video because it is a truly inspirational video and a moving video. And in the video, you watch this man eat this other man's cookies. And you're watching and you're like, wow, like kind of what an asshole, what an asshole. He's just like eating this guy's cookies without, you know, without asking and all of this. And I remember the first time I watched this video and having all this kind of judgment come up and I had watched it before. So this time I was kind of waiting for it. But this, this judgment of this other person come up and at the end of the video, you find out that it is actually a reverse situation where it was the guy who was judging that ended up being kind of, I don't want to say an asshole, I don't want to label somebody like that, but the one that really wasn't seeing the whole picture, wasn't seeing the perspective because he goes to get up and he realizes the cookies he thought were his were actually the other guys. And again, you probably won't understand all of that unless you watch the video, so I'll tag it, but it really brought up kind of something that's been a little bit of a soapbox for the last uh, probably year as I'm watching us in our in our society really become bitter towards our, our fellow man. And then recently I've seen again multiple memes about, you know, once some, you've, somebody has shown you who they are, believe them, or things along that same line. And while there is some truth to that, there's also this piece of me that really dislikes that statement. It really dislikes that statement because again, we always, when that statement is used, a lot of times it's once somebody has shown you their shadow side, their darkness, their insecurity, you know, their shit, you should believe that and really disregard this other, this other side of them. And so it really got me thinking about how we are so much a compilation of parts. Guess what? Sometimes I'm an asshole. Sometimes I'm a freaking angel. Sometimes I'm a bitch. Sometimes I'm really sweet. Guess what? We have this compilation of pieces within us. We have both this light and this dark. And tomorrow I'm doing an intimacy workshop with couples. And as I was, was doing some extra prep work for it, this is a piece of intimacy. Seeing the people in our lives, especially our romantic partners, fully, fully. And um, I was actually talking with an old friend the other day. She was explaining to me how um, she had gotten a divorce and some of the things that had happened in her life since we had last spoken, because it had been like two years, two, three years and has she gotten divorced and she started going on and on and on about how her ex-husband was always an asshole from the very beginning and she started to really break apart their entire marriage break apart everything in their marriage said everything was fake everything was false and it really hurt me it hurt my heart because i'm like i watched your relationship it all wasn't false there was truth, love in there. There was, the fact is your feelings were your feelings. Your connection was your connection. Yeah, maybe if things moved forward, the connection wasn't the same. But I think a lot of times we want, need to put a big label over somebody and wrap them up in that. And that is the only way we'll, we're willing to see them. And that's really my point today is, when we start to look at somebody and see them in only one way, we really need to back up. We really need to back up and go, is that really true? 
Are they, have they always just been an asshole? Is there no goodness in them? Has our entire relationship been shit? Is that really true? Is that really true? Or is that your ego? And a lot of times our ego comes up when we're, we're upset and we're trying to, con we're trying to build this kind of cushion between us and our hearts. So a lot of times it's a lot easier to put these big labels when we're upset at somebody. But also, a lot of times we do the, the reverse. Like when we first get into a relationship with somebody, we only want to see the good pieces. We don't want to see the negative. And in truth, true intimacy, true connection in any relationship, but particularly our romantic relationships, is truly seeing the whole person. The whole person, the good, the bad, and maybe making adjustments in that relationship. But it is truly seeing that entire person. And then also looking at your judgments, looking at your judgments of somebody else. Because like I said, I was talking to this friend, got divorced, and she kept giving these labels to him. He was cold. He was he was not emotional. And I went, okay, so you have an expect you had an expectation of him that he didn't meet. And she said, I don't have expectations in my, like, I, there was no expectations, you know, and she got very right in her spirituality stuff. And I'm like, no, you do have expectations and it's okay. It's okay to have expectations because we all have expectations. And if we think we don't have expectations, then we most likely have more expectations than we even know. Because when you look at somebody and you go, they're cold, well, then you have an expectation in your relationship for that person for the people you're sharing relationship with to be emotional, to be warm, to be connected. That's an expectation. It's not a bad expectation. It's what you want in your life. Vice versa, if you look at somebody and you're like, oh my gosh, they're so needy. They're so much. Well, then you have an expectation for a level of detachment from emotion. And so whenever you look at somebody and you label, you have to look at your expectation of that other person because it is an expectation. And so that's why any lay, any judgment is a level of us seeing in the mirror. And it's a beautiful growing perspective. The fact is when somebody shows you who they are, yes, believe them. But that is true of both sides of the coin and it really again this year and the last year and a half to two years I think with COVID we have seen a traumatized society and there's a lot of focus in on the negatives and this has become a spiral where we are really struggling to get the bigger picture so um, like I said I brought um, up Jay Shetty's video and he's like this man wasn't seeing the whole picture. He was judging his little, little perspective. And that was the only perspective he was able to see until his kind of world got blown by finding his own cookies. Um, the fact is, we have to, we don't have to, we get to choose. But I hope that my followers would to choose to see a bigger picture, to see there's different perspectives and oftentimes people are showing us what what we're we're looking for and knowing that there's other sides and other perspectives to look at no one person is one label so i used to work as a therapist when i was a therapist i was a brand new therapist i worked with an indigent population and i worked with several men who had actually killed people um i remember they were it was a it was an indigent um, dual diagnosis facility. And I worked with some people who had murdered, cold blood murdered people. And they came, came to me and I had to find the good in them. I had to find that beauty in them. I had to see things from at least their perspective. I didn't have to agree with their perspective, but I had to be able to put myself in their shoes enough to see their perspective and to hear their perspective. And I had to see the pieces in them that were not this, this shadow, ego, negative piece, because guess what? Then I would not have been able to work with them. We have to be able to see 
a whole person. We have to step back. And I say we have to. We don't have to really do anything. But if we want to to see more complexity within ourselves, we also have to start seeing more complexity in other people. So when they show you these beautiful pieces of them, these are truly amazing, like, oh wow, that person, is, like they're being so helpful, they're being so giving, they're so kind, they're so spiritually connected, they're so, their, their vibration is so beautiful. See that, go, oh wow, that is them. And then, if someone's being an asshole, someone's being a bitch, someone's having a moment, guess what? See that too. See that too. Go, oh wow, like they're they're really triggered right now. That's some of their shit. That's some of their ego. That's, you know, that's a piece of them as well. It really is so fulfilling when you can really look at an entire person and love them. Love them. And it's, it's also beautiful, like I said, with with my friend who um, got divorced and right now she is definitely in the processing stage so we at times need our egos we need our egos to to pad us a little bit but i hope for her at some point she can see the whole relationship was not shit there were some beautiful years some connective years and yes that relationship broke down and there was a lot of hurt and a lot of pain but the fact is, it wasn't all shit. It wasn't all shit. And so I really share this with you guys today because most of you are not going to be in my intimacy workshop tomorrow to hear about it. But also to really look at, number one, your labeling of others. Is it a full label? Is it a full inclusive labeling? Or is it, are you just like slapping something on them? And then look at your expectations in your relationships of yourself because guess what if you're labeling somebody there's an expectation around that too there's an expectation in your life around that and so are you expressing those expectations have you you verbalized do you, the people in your life know your expectations for that you have for them then i really want you to look at where are you really painting this your ex past experiences and either all light or all darkness and maybe you need to find, <coughs> excuse me, not sick, just pollen. Um, maybe where you need to find that balance because guess what? We all can be assholes. We all can be amazing people. You know what? I don't believe that anybody in this world is all negative. There's always light in us. And guess what? The most light people, the people who are really vibrating the highest, also have the most darkness. We all have insecurities. We all have neediness. We all have disconnection. We have all of it. So, maybe do a little bit of thinking on where you lie on all of that today. I'd love to hear your, your thoughts, your comments. Um, I see a couple people. I cannot scroll, otherwise I would comment, but thank you, Brian and, and Sanchez for commenting and anybody else that I didn't see, I'm sorry. So, um, other than that, go follow me at absonbell.net. I am doing free consults for the month of November, whether that is online or in person. Either way, that is my gratitude gift to all of you. Uh, and if you, you're in the DFW area, check out some of my upcoming events. Other than that, I'll see you beautiful people tomorrow for another Addison Unleashed. I love you guys.